unofficial introduction that final fight and the blue corner weighing in at 53. She's 13, stands by one. She fights out of state and hails from Springboard Mason Hero. And her opponent fighting out of the red corner weighing in at 52. She's 14, stands by. She fights out of the Union MMA and hails from Ladies and gentlemen, Cade's door set to close on this, our last junior contest. Two Macy's, Mason Barrow fighting out of the blue corner in the two-piece Nike. And Macy Gaffney fighting out of the red corner, the two-piece Venom with the blue-trimmed shin guards. And, wow, they started quick, Brad. Yeah, fast and furious start. I always think it's very inconsiderate when matchmakers match two fighters with the same name. Yes. But again, Gaffney in the Venom shorts, the techie top, and the blue trim to her shin guards. The Macy Barrow. The gold trim to the RDX shin guards. Oh, nice oh. takedown there from Gaffney. Really trying to lock down from the bottom, though. Girl really trying to hold her in place. Oh, and you look in the corner and see Danny Mitchell, you know there's going to be some tasty action going on the ground. Chipping away at the body now. Yeah, no, no twisters allowed them. Nope. There's amateur rule set, unfortunately. Well, you'd have, you'd have thought that's the first thing they learned there at ADT. Trying to pass the guard there, but good retention from Mason Birrell. Again, not a lot of time to work in these two-minute rounds, so this top control is... You know, we, we talk about the scoring criteria, it's effective striking and grappling that the judges are looking for, first of all, but when there's not a lot of that going on, it can then go to the plan B of, of, the, of aggression and, and control. Not control more often in these junior bouts, and that's what we're seeing from Macy Gaffney here. Oh, yeah, Misha Barrow, certainly not. I mean, she's looking. She's trying to stay active off, off the bottom. She keeps looking to bring that guard up high. Opens it up to try and... So she's not capitulating at all. Oh, and they get around that guard and just can't make it. And then they start swinging again. Good round for Macy Gaffney there in my book. But again, you know, Macy Beryl you know, didn't particularly do anything wrong there. She just did what she could with the position that she had. Absolutely. She, came, she, she It wasn't just, I'm going to lie here and hope that she, she was active off her back. Gaffney, though, wise to it, was able to ride around with it. Second of three two-minute rounds. About to get underway here. I've said it. I've said it every fight. I'll say it again. The composure that these young athletes are showing. Yeah, Burrell just 13. Gaffney 14. See, now I know that there's a 13-year-old girl out there somewhere that can kick my ass, and that's that's not a comforting thought. It's as I get older. Well, seconds have cleared. We'll see if Burrell can change the tone, but. Look, I mean, wow. Straight yes, out of the gate, both she, ladies. Yeah, just straight across the cage. Again, of course, no headshots allowed under this rule set, so look for the leg kicks, look for shots to your body. That one landed from Gaffney. Yeah, Burrell tucked that right elbow in a little bit tighter after that. Good work there for Burrell to keep Gaffney off her. Well, it looks like Burrell has, again, that little bit of range if she wants to, if she wants to use it. Nice shot to the body there. That's how much Gaffney shoving her opponent off her. Oh, 
Got to be careful with the headshots there. Macy Gaffney just warned. She faked a headshot, which I thought was quite cool. So I guess technically there's nothing wrong with that, but then she did follow through on the second one. So the corner of Macy Gaffney asking for that level change. She gets in onto the hips, but Bill does well, get her back to the cage, gets a nice white. Well, I thought that nice white base was gonna help her out, it didn't. Yeah, switch to scoop out the single leg from behind the knee. Beautiful takedown there from Macy Gaffney. Again. Doesn't gonna have a whole lot of time to do much with it in the second round, but. But just like last round, it'll leave that impression on top, looking to land some hammer fists to the midsection. It's just the aggression of Gaffney at the moment that I think's making all the difference. And Yeah, I, I tend to agree with you there, Steve. She's been the more assertive fighter. She's dictated where the fight takes place. Um, you know, both fighters have landed a couple of decent shots in that round. Again, I'll probably give the edge to Gaffney, but not by a massive margin. Now you just, Beryl just needs to be again, perhaps step on the gap, either not react, cause Gaffney to react. But yeah, she's going to have to put her foot down in this third and final frame here. Well, you know, it's, she's not going to have to look hard to find her at the beginning of the round because Gaffney will be in her face within sort of a millisecond of that round starting. Again, neither of these two young athletes showing any nerves, showing any... Neither show nerves, neither show any, any signs of fatigue. No. <laughs> well, we're not going to get a touch of gloves. We're just going to exchange low kicks to start the round. L looking to bore us straight in. And again, it's just that aggression. She gets under the hips, lovely. But now she's popped Beryl down right in front of her own corner there. You know, all she really has to do from this position now is just just keep working the body when she can. Just yeah. make sure she stays active enough not to have the fight stood up. And of course, just be wary of the triangle or uh, potential armbar set up or, or, or sweep from Mason Burrell. Open up that guard again. You know, that may be the tactic to bait Macy Gaffney into doing something so she can sweep, but it's not going to work as Gaffney passes the guard. She's still behind that knee shield now, but. She'll probably be content to hang out here. Again, good work from Beryl on bottom. Works back to the full guard, but just it's just pushing away that head. Referee now asking for a little bit more action. It is just control. Yeah, the referee may stand them up here unless he sees something, but you know, this could be Macy Burrell's best chance to win the fight and getting a triangle from bottom here. Heavy low kick again to the down of oh, that again. There was no intent to throw it to the head, but nice body shots from Burrell there. Burrell seems to be opening up a little more towards the end of this round. Defense to take down, nice frame yeah. on the face here. Nice to force Gaffney up against the cage, eats a knee and another. And these two young ladies deserve a round of applause for that work. Yeah, there's some nice clinch work in the end there from Mace Girl. She seems to put her foot on the gas towards the end of that third and final round. I don't think it's going to be enough to get in the judge's decision. No, I, I, some good work there towards the end of the fight. I think Macy Gaffney just, just a little busier, a little more aggressive over certainly the first two rounds. And the crowd out in support of Macy Gaffney here, very happy. Briefly uh, met Macy's mom earlier on this evening and 
was uh, was asked to pick a nickname or, or try to come up with a nickname. So we, th we think maybe Macy the Gaffer Gaffney. That, hey, the that Gaffer, works, right? that works. Absolutely. We'll see if that one sticks then, Steve. Yeah, well, we, it's going to because we're the yes, ones got it, right? Yeah. yeah. So they'll, they'll announce the winner is Macy the Gaffer Gaffer.